Welcome, and today we're looking at using LoopGuard with Spanning Tree. LoopGuard prevents alternative or root ports from becoming designated ports. So when would this become an issue? Well, consider an example where we might have a unidirectional link. This is a port that will be able to send BPDUs out, but it won't be able to receive any from any neighbor switches. And of course, this could lead to a loop within the topology. If the loop guard feature is enabled, it will be able to see this, and then it will do two things. It will put the port into an inconsistent state, and it will generate a syslog message so we know about it. When that port starts receiving BPDUs again, it will automatically recover from the inconsistent state and start working again normally. So how do we configure it? Well, there are two ways we can do this. We can enable this globally with the spanning tree loop guard default command, or we can configure it per interface with the spanning tree guard loop command. They're very similar, but just different enough to be confusing. However, there is still a big warning that goes along with using loop guard. Do not enable this on ports that are configured with Portfast. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to see you soon in our next video.